Hey everyone, my name is Jennifer. I read City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert. It is pretty much a woman named Vivian, well, a young woman. She is brought up in a very straight-laced family. She goes to good schools like Vassar, attends absolutely no, like none of her classes, ends up being politely asked to leave, and her parents don't take that well, and they don't know what to do with her, so they send her to New York City, where coming from a very small upstate New York town, going to New York City as a 19-year-old virgin, she learns a lot. She ends up moving in with her Aunt Peg, who owns a theater or a playhouse where they put on very small plays for local families that really can't afford to do much. And the plays really aren't that great anyway. But it does have a whole list of characters that come in and out of the playhouse. And she finds herself attached to a lot of people that come inside the playhouse because she finds them as new, exciting, beautiful, you know, just fabulous all around. So one of the... Uh, subjects of the book is pretty much self-disclosure and her being vulnerable because even though she's telling the whole story of her life she's really writing a 466 page letter to a woman that you know sends her a letter in the beginning saying okay so what was your relationship with my father so who has already passed away and she has to explain to her you know the daughter that okay well this was my life and this is why I did the things I did and she even said a quote from the book is it is important for me that you know everything about me, the good, the bad, and the loyal and the perverse. So she didn't leave any details out at all. She had some pretty scandalous adventures and a lot of interesting things happened. Other than that, identity self-concept, her trying to find out who she is as a person, um, she fails a couple times, she ends up pulling herself back up and learning from her experiences. And that also leads to empathy, where she, you know, through her experiences of being you know, kind of exiled because of certain odd things that she's done. Um, she learns to cope with it and then also, you know, have empathy for other people around her that tell her these terrible stories. And she is overall able to, you know, feel for other people, you know, be there with them in the situation. Just like the person in question, the father, how did you know him? He had a, hor a horrible life and she ended up being the best of friends with him. And that's pretty much the whole story right there. And I would recommend the book. It's a little lengthy. Like I said, it's a 466 page letter to someone's daughter. <laughs> but overall, I did enjoy it and I would recommend it.